Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led officers of the Muerto County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Thieves Theater. I am CJ P, and tonight we have a special treat with you. It's going to be our first gory horror episode dedicated to the iconic movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It came out in 1973, directed by Toby Hooper, and it changed the face of horror cinema. And here it is, the iconic one sheet movie poster. Check it out. I actually have two different styles of this. This has the block lettering on the bottom along with the date. And I also have this one here. Let me just pull it over, Chase. This is slightly different. Artwork is the same. But if you pan down, Chase, you can see the difference on the bottom of the poster. Both very cool. Check out the artwork on this movie poster. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Title in blood red font, What Happened is True. Now the motion picture that's just as real. Leatherface, girl hanging by a meat hook, bloody apron. America's most bizarre, brutal crimes. Check it out. We're gonna deep dive into my collection of Texas Chainsaw posters, and toys right here at Thieves Theater. Come on, Franklin. It's going to be a fun trip. This is Thieves Theater, starring C.J. Fee. Let's check out these masks that I have in my collection, Chase. And this is just a general leather face mask that's sewn together. Uh, the one thing about this mask is if you put it on at Halloween, they will know who you are. You are Leatherface. But uh, he's got brown hair as opposed to black. Uh, he's got a great little sideways mouth. But this mask right here, this is the real deal. This is a licensed product from New Line Cinema, came out in 1990, and just check out the detail on this thing, sewn hair into the mask, and look at, just look at all this stuff going on. Look at his teeth, his nose, his eyes, you have a little slit here to see out of. Just a phenomenal mask made specifically by New Line Cinema. And I'm just so happy to have it because it's a real collector's item. So let's move on to the toys. Now let's start off with my big bad boy 18 inch Movie Maniac Series 4 Leatherface. Look at the detail on this toy. First of all, it's got motion activated sound. And if you can zoom in on the box chase, look at his bloody apron. He's got the leather face on. He's got the chainsaw. Get in there and see that chainsaw chase. It's got blood on it. And you can see how he can pose. Of course, it's just too big to uh, accommodate the chainsaw on his hands in the box. But I can show you what it'll look like when you do as we spin it around. Check it out. Can you imagine walking into a room and having this thing go off every five minutes? Wow. Look at the back of the box. All the other action figures that came into the uh, Movie Maniacs 4 line. And Movie Maniacs, of course, done by McFarlane Toys. You can see Ash down here. But this is a heavy figure. This is a tremendous figure and uh, something that I'm really, really happy to have in my collection. Now this is the Spencer Gifts Limited Edition Numbered Series Leatherface from 
Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is number 3694 of 30,000. And this has never been out of the box. And check it out, it still makes noise. Is that great or what? You have the blood splattered apron. Look at the face on Leatherface. He's got the tie. Uh, he's got little props inside here. And as we spin the box around, this is such cool packaging and it's intact. Check this out. It's got some script. It's got some really cool scenes from the movie. And uh, wow. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the horrifying classic that possesses an undying power to frighten audiences again and again. Yes, it does. And did, big time in 1973. Let's move on. Now here is a very special toy that came out in 1999. It is a limited edition headliner XL. It came out in 1999 and uh, the sculpture of Leatherface will never be repeated in this form. The sculpture is one of a total of 10,000 and this is number 5628. And check out the sculpt on this chase. The packaging is still intact. We can turn it around, you can see the sides. Actually, there were a couple other uh, sculpts in this line, which we have, which will be showcased in future episodes. But this is a great one. I could see this sitting on someone's desk, not in the package, for all of you horror buffs. And here it is, Series 1, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Movie Maniacs. And this one right here is fantastic. Todd McFarlane Toys made this. Uh, you have the movie poster behind Leatherface. You have accessories which include the chainsaw. You have the hammer. You have the bucket. Behind the movie poster, you have body parts. You have a severed head and you have a severed leg is it Jay? I think it's an arm. Oh he said it's an arm okay. Well my eyesight's failing. Here's the back of the card a part of the spawn line. Uh, this is uh, showing all the different types of uh, McFarlane Toys lines that they had that year. Movie Maniacs. This is series one. The one that started it all and one of the most famous iconic figures that Tom McFarlane ever did. Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh. In 2004, as part of the Series 7 Movie Maniacs line, Tom McFarlane did figures for the movie Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And here they are. Check them out. This is Leatherface standing in the doorway from that iconic scene in the movie, the beginning of the movie. He's got his chainsaw. Look at the sculpt on his face. Unreal. He's got his black apron. And we, if we check out the back, you have all of the different action figures in this series. That's Leatherface right there. And how he looks when you set this thing up outside of the box. We have old monty with a cane wheelchair legs severed at the knees check this one out chase this is phenomenal stuff right here oh so gory so so gory check out here he's got no knees here you can see the side and there's the back showing old monty and how he looks when you set him up third in the line is sheriff hoyt with a pistol check out his face he is a super scary MFR. Very cool truck backdrop with a bloody back window. Let's spin it around. You can see how he looks when his whole package is assembled. And you can see all the other action figures in the line. And there it is right there, Chase. And last but not least, and this is really, really cool. This is Aaron. With a carcass 
and a variety of hooks. So the, car the carcass hangs on the hook and you can see Aaron running away because she doesn't want to get hooked. I will spin it around nice and slow for you to see. Check it out. There it is. How it looks assembled. And right there, how it's set up. Unbelievable stuff. to the movie posters. <laughs> so in nineteen seventy four Toby Hooper changed the way we looked at horror movies with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. One of the bloodiest, goriest, unwatchable movies up to that time in history. Let's check out this one sheet movie poster. This is an original from 1974 from Bryanston Pictures. Who will survive and what will be left of them? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre in blood red font, bold on the bottom. America's most bizarre, brutal crimes. Check out the artwork. Check out the girl hanging from the meat hook. Just a very, very gory movie poster, but one would draw you into the theaters. Next to that, we have the New Line Cinema release. Looks almost identical, but with very, very subtle differences. This has a little darker background, same artwork, but if you look at it, it's just, just a little bit different. This one has very very large font on the bottom right corner and that's smaller font on the bottom right corner and then if you look at the restricted signs look a little darker here this has a copyright here of 1974 and this one over here is with no uh, Roman numerals now as we move down the line we have the most controversial horror film ever is finally here Leatherface the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Part 3. The terror begins the second it starts. The Saw is family. Check out this gruesome movie poster with bold red font. Wow. White uh, titles on the bottom. And look at the backdrop. Bloody, his hair looks like he's got bloody hair. And look at the skull. Look at the carving on that chainsaw fantastic next to that we have the texas chainsaw massacre and this is inspired by a real true story and look at how this movie poster is done chase it's just very very subtle picture of leatherface you can tell it's leatherface but you have to kind of get up close to it the last one in the collection which came out in 2018. Texas Chainsaw 3D. Evil wears many masks. And this is a phenomenal poster. Look at all the different leather faces up on shelves. He's got all of his horror tools here. Skulls. Just phenomenal stuff right there. And it looks so good in the light box. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining me tonight on this wonderful episode of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've enjoyed it immensely. And uh, let me just point out Ooh, this shirt. What is that? This is uh, from Creepy Collection. Real people, real creepy. And just check it out. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You got Leatherface. You got the eyes bulging out. You have uh, Leatherface holding the chainsaw up. I've had so many compliments on this shirt, particularly from the Gore Hounds at Asbury Park. They loved it. I can't tell you. Let me just tell you, folks. Please, please, please subscribe below and ring that notification bell and uh, keep enjoying these videos because I enjoy making them and I hope you'll join me on future episodes of Thee's Theater. This is CJ Thee signing off. 
Wow, 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 wow.